Hi everyone, I'm Jinx, and today I'm going to be comparing some of the different areas in Oregon. I am constantly getting messages from people who want to move to the state, but they're not sure which area would best suit them, and they're just looking for general information on weather and housing and stuff. So I figured that I would make a video about it, even though I'm definitely no Oregon expert, but I will try my best to compare these areas to the best of my abilities. So whenever people want to move to Oregon, they usually choose between one of four different areas, the Oregon Coast the Willamette Valley, Southern Oregon, or Central Oregon. The Oregon coast is beautiful, rugged, and not very populated. There are a lot of small towns along the coast, but there aren't any big cities. In fact, the biggest city along the Oregon coast is Coos Bay, which has a population of only about 16,500 people. So the coast is perfect for people who want to live a somewhat quiet lifestyle. But because the towns along the coast are so small, there's not that many job opportunities for people. Though the housing can be kind of cheap compared to the rest of Oregon, I've seen two bedroom rentals for as low is $900 a month and houses for sale for around $150,000. And I'm just saying this based off of my experience of browsing through Craigslist and Zillow, which I often do for fun, but housing can also be expensive along the coast. It really just depends on what you're looking for and what area you're looking in. For example, housing near Cannon Beach is a lot more expensive than housing in Coos Bay. And the weather along the coast stays pretty mild all year long. It gets a lot of fog, cool breezes, and drizzly rain during winter, but it doesn't get too cold and the summers don't get too hot. I would say on average the temperatures range from about the 40s and 50s during the winter to about the 70s during summer, sometimes 80s. And unlike the East Coast, there are no hurricanes here, but this is the Pacific Ring of Fire, so there are earthquakes which can cause tsunamis, so just something to keep in mind. I always thought it was pronounced Willamette Valley, but it's actually pronounced Willamette Valley. And this valley runs all the way from Portland through Salem and down to Eugene. So pretty much the top half of Interstate 5. This valley actually gets some of the most rain in the entire state and because it's the most populated part of the state, it's what gives Oregon its rainy reputation. But the farther south you go, the shorter the rain season. So Portland gets more rain and Eugene gets less. Each of the major cities in the Willamette Valley have a lot of opportunities from jobs to medical facilities to social and community gatherings. But each of the cities has its own vibe. Eugene is a laid back hippie college city. Salem is home to all the government facilities and Portland is a big weird hipster city. <laughs> For those of you who want to live near all the city stuff, but you don't actually want to live in the city, there are a lot of cute little towns on the outskirts like Cottage Grove, Cave Junction, Corvallis, Albany, just to name a few. Housing in this part of the state is on average the cheapest in Salem and the most expensive in Portland, with Eugene being right in the middle. This part of Oregon is my favorite, not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> This area includes Roseburg, Grants Pass, Medford, and Ashland, and compared to the Willamette Valley, it has a shorter rain season, the housing is cheaper, generally speaking, and it is much less populated with the only major city being Medford with a population of 83,000 people. It is, of course, much more populated than the coast. Ashland is the most expensive town in this area, but it's absolutely adorable. I love Ashland. It's one of my favorite towns in Oregon. And Roseburg is the most affordable town in Southern Oregon with some of the cheapest housing in this part of the state. There are job opportunities in Southern Oregon, most notably in Medford, but there aren't quite as many as in the big cities. But I like this part of the state because it's nestled right in the middle of the mountains. The two main cities people usually want to move to in this part of the state is Bend, which is pretty much smack dab in Central Oregon, and Klamath Falls, which is in South Central Oregon. Oddly enough, we haven't been to Klamath Falls yet, so I don't know much about that area at all, even though it's just a couple hours away from us. I do know that housing is affordable there, and there are tons of outdoor recreational activities to do all in that area. Bend, on the other hand, 
We have been to, and I have fallen in love with it. It's awesome. It gets the most sunny days per year compared to all of the other areas that I've talked about, but housing is way more expensive in Bend compared to all of the other areas that I've talked about. But it is absolutely beautiful there. It's right by the Cascades with Mount Bachelor, just a few miles outside of town. There are a lot of volcanic wonders in the area. It's near the high desert. There are tons of lakes and trails and rivers and all sorts of outdoorsy things to do there. It's crafty, artsy, naturey, vegan friendly, bike friendly, and it's a large city with everything a person needs. Summers are warm and sunny there. The Deschutes River flows right through the city and I feel like Bend is kind of underrated. If it weren't for the cold winters and the expensive housing, I would consider moving there myself and I actually even have considered it. <laughs> well, I think that pretty much covers all of these areas in a nutshell. If you wanna see any more of each specific part of Oregon, I've included some links to some of our playlists down in the description. I would say you could leave a comment if there's anything that I forgot to add or any questions that you wanna ask, but unfortunately, YouTube has disabled the comments on my channel. So if you wanna leave a comment, head over to my community tab or send me a message on social media. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching. See ya.